Hi guys, my name is Adam Holmes and I'm an Applications Engineer with Solid Applications. I've designed this video to show brand new users how to get SOLIDWORKS installed on your machine. As an overview of what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process and then I'm going to show you a live demo of how to do it. What we need to do first is go to the SOLIDWORKS.com website and sign into the customer portal. When signing in, we're going to need a SOLIDWORKS ID. If you don't have one of these, you need to create one via the link below. When you're creating your SOLIDWORKS ID, you'll need your serial number and company information. Once you've got that all sorted and you've signed in, the next step inside the customer portal is to remove the padlocks. If it's the first time you've logged in, you'll see that there's a load of padlocks showing on all, the, on all the icons, apart from one. That one should be register my products. You need to click on that link and enter in your serial number and your company information. Next time when you log back into the customer portal, all the padlocks should be removed. With all the padlocks gone, next step is to click on Downloads and Updates. From there, you'll be able to see all the different versions of SOLIDWORKS and all the different service packs, and you'll be able to pick the one you're after. If you pick the one you're after, download the little small extraction file, and that will open up the Installation Manager. Once on the Installation Manager, we can download and share all the files we're after. And once that's completed, we can run the setup file within there to install the software. I'm now going to show this as a live demonstration. So starting the live demonstration off, what I first need to do is go to the SOLIDWORKS.com website. As you can see, I've got that in my top browser. What I need to do next is click on the little profile symbol in the top right hand corner and click on the link for the SOLIDWORKS customer portal. Once I've clicked on here, I can enter my email address because I've already set this up as a SOLIDWORKS ID already. If you haven't, that's the button we need to click on, create a SOLIDWORKS ID and then follow that process of putting your serial number in and your company details. As I've already got mine set up, I'm just going to put my password in and log in. As this is the first time I've logged into the SOLIDWORKS customer portal, you can see I've got loads of padlocks on all the different icons and I need to remove the one on download and updates. So to do that I need to click on register my products. So just as a bit of a refresh if you remember we're at this stage now so we're just registering my products and then we can go back to logging in to the customer portal afterwards. When clicking on register my products you'll see that you have to enter your serial number first. So just click in the box, you can copy and paste your serial number. Once it's entered, just hit next and follow the process. What I'm going to do here is just pick the version. I'm always going to go for the latest one I'm after. So if I just drag my options out, you can see here what version of SOLIDWORKS you can get access to. So I'm just going to accept that and hit next. I've gone back to the customer portal. At the moment I've still got my padlock showing so what I'm going to do is just sign out of the SOLIDWORKS customer portal and sign back in. I'm just going to put my password in again. Log into the customer portal and now you can see that all the padlocks have been removed from all the icons. Just jumping back to my step-by-step -step process, you can now see that the padlocks are not showing. So the next step is to click on Download and Updates. So back in the custom portal, you want to click on Download and Updates as highlighted. That will take us through to this page. So up the top now we can see we've got all the different versions we can select and so I'm going to go for 2018 and then just down below you can see we've also got the service packs so what I want to do is just click on one of these little extraction files and my next step is to accept the terms and conditions to download in the software this will take me through to this page so it's just a step-by-step -step sort of process. So I've got to download and unzip the prior files and then step three would be install it. So if we click on download on step two and then we should have like a SOLIDWORKS extraction. So if we hit run 
and then here you can see where it's going to unzip the folders to and then if we hit unzip that will unzip the files so we can click OK and then you might have to minimize your browser like I've had to that will open up the installation manager we've got four different options the one we want to select is the one at the very bottom download and share all files we want to hit next and at this stage we want to put in our serial number so you can copy and paste this into the box and then we want to hit next that's going to check that we're up to date with our subscription and then we've got a summary at the top so I'm downloading a full copy of 2018 SP3 I can also look at all my download options by hitting change and then it's recommended best practice that you, you know where you're going to download it to and that's the file path so I'm just going to hit browse and then what I can do what we always do here at Solid Applications is on our C drives we create a folder called SWDist and we always drop our SOLIDWORKS downloads in that location to keep it consistent. You've got an estimated download size of 14 gigabytes, and what I always do, just for best practice, is to switch off the background downloader to save my internet speed afterwards. We can then go back to summary, accept the terms and conditions, and hit download now. So depending on your internet speed and your machine, it's going to take a different amount of time. I've just sped this up for the video. Once it's finished downloading, we'll get a download complete. All of our all the files have been successfully downloaded. And then it's just given us a little warning message. Only the installation manager can can download the files, do not install manually, and it gives us gives us the location of where we've got to go to next. So I'm just going to close and I'm going to go to that location. So I'm just going to open up Internet Explorer, go to my C drive and go to SWDist and there you can see I've got the files so inside there inside of S SOLIDWORKS 2018 SP3 I'm scroll right down to the bottom and there's a setup file what I'm going to do is right click on that little icon and run as administrator that will reopen the installation manager up so this time instead of downloading and sharing all files like we did before I'm actually ready to do the install so individual install on this PC I need to have that option selected, select next. Again, if it's not remembered, put your serial number in. Again, you can copy and paste this for ease, save you typing it out, and hit next. That's just checking that you're all up to date with your subscription so that you're entitled to download it. And then here you've got a summary page. So it's creating a new instance of 2018. You've got a summary of all your products. You can hit change to see what you've got installed or about to install. So what I'm going to do, just to speed up this, this installation, I'm just going to untick uh, products that I don't need, that I don't require, and that will help. So I'm just going to go for the SOLIDWORKS Core CAD, hit back to summary, um, accept the terms and conditions if you haven't done, and then hit install now. And then again, it's depending on your machine, how long it will take to install but if you let that finish and then you get a summary page at the end so the installation is complete and you get the options to um, connect with the customer experience I've just hit finish and I've left the option show what's new so you can see I get this document which automatically opens up so you can browse for that if needed you, as you can see on the desktop I've now got my SOLIDWORKS icons so I can click on the SOLIDWORKS icon and get it to load up SOLIDWORKS for the first time. As it's the first time, I need to register, activate my product. So I just need to select all and hit activate and then finish. That'll go for the process. Because it's the first time, just got to accept the terms and conditions of the software. And then there we go. We've got SOLIDWORKS up and running. So I hope this video has been useful, guys.